So anyway, I'm going to pick it out of the oven, a grill, at my herb wok, whatever it is it's, it's gone into. Barbara Kaylee. Gordon Ramsay's choice for the greatest chef in all of Europe. However, she's my choice for the greatest chef in the universe. Sorry, Mom. Now, if you were wondering, Barbara Kaylee is none other than Kay's Cooking, which I'm now realizing if her full name is Barbara Kaylee, then her son's name is, uh, Lily. Interesting choice, Kay. But today we've got a bit of a special video. You see, a lot of Kay's videos are either way too long when they shouldn't be, or much shorter than they need to be. So a lot of her videos that I see, I'd like to make them into a video, but sometimes it just doesn't make sense to. So today we're taking a few of those that I've found in the past and putting them all into one. A bit of a Kay variety episode, if you will. So we're going to be starting off today's video with our main course of burnt Chinese style salt and pepper chicken. Then we'll be moving on to dessert and uh, then whatever comes after dessert. Sorry, food puns are not really my strong suit. Let's begin. Please subscribe. Hi people, I'm back cooking again and today I'm doing Chinese style salt and pepper chicken. Every time Kay does an intro, it seems like it pains her to open up these videos. Is Lily forcing you to do this, Barbara? You're safe with us, you can tell us. And it does say a bit of herbs. Well, that, this red thing is uh, garlic and chili and some parsley. So I'm going to put them in. And I'm going to mix the bowl. Uh, mix the bowl. I'm going to mix the bowl. I'm not going to mix anything else in it. I'm going to mix everything into the bowl and then I'm going to put the chicken in and I'll show you that. Is this a case cooking first? Are we watching something be seasoned? What has gotten into UK? I mean, granted, it is only two things, but that is still a step up from, you know, nothing. Okay, I'm proud. So I'm going to put the chicken in. I can't even find it. I think I need my glasses for this bit. I'm going to put, well, I'm going to carry on putting whatever bit of chicken I can find in. And, uh, well, it should turn out okay. Right, uh, it's, it's done. It only takes about two to three minutes. I can't pick it up. Um, okay, part of me thinks that you might have been supposed to dip the chicken in egg or something. Something to make it stick to the flour. Because what I'm seeing is not Chinese chicken, it's chicken in a flour soup. You've essentially created like an incomplete roux here. Don't know if that was the goal. If it was, 10 out of 10. Oh, do you know, things like this I could do with, I don't know. So anyway, I'm going to pick it out of the oven, a grill, at my herb wok. Whatever it is, it's, it's gone into. There's uh, chilli in it, and now you know... Oh, God sake, that was a bit hot. And as you know, I'm not allowed chilli. I can't get it off. I'm not going to argue with it, all right. I don't think I've ever said this on Kay's channel. This was the case on pretty much every video when we used to watch Jack. But I genuinely think that this might not be safe to eat. This looks like it is approaching the inedible zone. This is seriously just burnt flour. If Lee can survive this, I'm pretty sure the man can survive anything at this point. And before Lee comes to do the taste test, I just want to say hi to the workman who wanted a picture took with me. Hi. So at least gonna do the taste test now. This is why we watch Kay. How can you not love this woman? Shouting out a random stranger who wanted a picture with her. This woman's heart is made of solid gold. Sounds a bit um Burnt. overdone. <laughs> well, I was gonna say overdone, but it's overdone, isn't mm, it? A bit burnt, yeah. Well you know what they say? Better overdone than underdone. Mmm, mmm, best part at the end. Oh, really? Mmm, that's fine, that. Oh, good, that's a good job I'm not having. Thumbs up. Then. If you've ever wondered if you're a bad son, just compare yourself to Lee. He is like the model son. This man just ate what is essentially charcoal for his mother, and he still told her it was good. That is love. Hi, people, and I'm back cooking again. And today I'm going to be doing so sausage with stuffed chicken. All right, you heard it here, folks. It's time for some sausage and stuffed chicken. Get a good image in your mind of what you're expecting stuffed chicken to turn out like. I want to see how far off everybody is. Now, I've got another pack of sausage and stuff. <laughs> oh, we will. <laughs> Found them. And I'm going to put them in as well. In right there. Oh, they're frozen. 
Good to mold this chicken. Um, Kay, I know that you said that those last sausages were frozen, but I hate to be the one to break this to you, but, uh, every single piece of meat in this frame is completely frozen. I mean, you might as well be cooking ice at this point. I know that cooking meat that's a little bit frozen is not a big deal, but these look like they are still completely <laughs> solid. You might want to let them thaw for a while. Now I'm going to put the store in, store in, store in! Stuff in in a bowl. It's all out, all out, all out, all out, all out. It's not like when we were done sliding in mind. All right, so, uh, yeah. When I saw this title, I was thinking that either the chicken was going to be stuffed with sausage or vice versa. No, Kay is stuffing chicken breasts with, like, Thanksgiving stuffing. I mean, I don't know if that's a thing over in Britain. I've never heard of that in America. I mean, it doesn't seem too unbelievable to think that people do this, but I've never heard of it. Right, as you can see, the chicken's partly done. Uh, because the person only said stuffed chicken and he didn't say what he wanted it stuffing with It's not even done. Where's my spoon gone? Then I'm going to get some stuffing And put it in Okay, yeah, okay. I'm no mind reader, but but if somebody commented that they wanted to see you make stuffed chicken, I have a feeling this is not what they had in mind. Also, if you ever hear a chef start to cut open their chicken and they say this isn't done yet, but they continue to go on with their recipe like it is, you should uh, probably start running at that point. And this is the end product of sausage and chicken, sorry, sausage and stuffed chicken. You know what worries me the most? There is no real definitive answer on where all this juice came from. This is just a collection of various freezer juices extracted from frozen sausages and frozen chicken. I'm pretty sure one sip of this juice would end your life. It tastes like sausage with chicken in it covered in stuffing. Wow, Lee, you really have a way with words. That's like taking a bite of pizza and saying, hmm, it really tastes like dough, cheese, and tomatoes. I mean, at least he didn't necessarily say it tasted good, because there's just no way this would turn out right. And that's not even really saying anything about K. You just can't cook frozen meat with some prepackaged stuffing on top and expect anything good to happen. Hi, people, and I'm back cooking again. And today, I'm going to be doing a lamb dinner for Easter. Alright guys, so I'm not gonna lie to you, this video is pretty much your standard case cooking video. Nothing really crazy happens, just unseasoned potatoes, unseasoned meat, and I think some carrots in there. So pretty much just your average Tuesday, but there's one segment in this video that I have to share with the world. Right, as you can see, the lamb is nice and cooked. Um, it had longer, I gave it longer than it's supposed to have. It did say 90 minutes, but I gave it an hour and a half. But to me, that looks gorgeous. I mean, come on. You just can't write this stuff, guys. The recipe called for 90 minutes, but Kay gave it a little bit longer and cooked it for an hour and a half. I mean, I think we've peaked. Well, guys, if you had to pick one of the recipes to eat from this video, which one would it be? As much as it pains me to say it, I think I would have to go with the lamb, even though we only saw like 20 seconds of it. I don't even like lamb, but I'm pretty sure eating the other two would like cause my skin to turn inside out or something, some sort of weird side effect. You can't just eat those things and get off scot-free. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it. It's free. It won't cost you anything. But for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye. Subscribe.